Look at this. This is what Elizabeth's been working very, very hard on. She has been spending the last week designing merchandise to put on our Etsy store. From sweatshirts to t-shirts to hats. Speaking of hats, my new one is coming in a couple days so you guys will be able to see that. Alright Ben, so this is what you've been working on? Yeah. Show the people. Click on one. That way uh, maybe they'll pull it up. It brings it up a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of small. Kind of designing some you merch get the idea. here. So this one, she designed that one. Soil building, compost making, food growing, regenerative farmer. That is a shirt that I will be having for myself. And we've got um, <laughs> What's that local one? egg dealer. Local egg dealer, because that fits in very well with us. Um, chick magnet. Chick magnet. And then I made some t-shirts that just have our regular business logo that's on them. Cool. What about the uh, sweater? That one's my favorite, the hoodie. Oh yeah, that's the, with that's just awesome. our business logo on it. And then I, I made a tank top that I want for myself. Something that I will wear. What's it say? Uh, goat loving, seed saving, egg collecting, homeschooling, homesteading mama. Out of the box right there. That one looks great, I love it. That way I can finally get rid of this hat because it is getting worn out and I wear it just about every day. So, be nice to have something different. But yeah, so eventually- But we will have a store on YouTube. Yeah, so I was mistaken. We'll probably add them to our Etsy too, I'd imagine. But yes. we're actually, I didn't realize that YouTube had a store and Beth told me, oh yes, they do. And we are able to put stuff on a YouTube store now. So we're adding that to our YouTube store. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it's just easier for people to find rather than going all the way to to etsy cool well we'll figure it out as we figure it out we'll let you guys know and uh, hopefully get it up there here pretty soon but we're waiting for the hat because i at least want to see and beth wants to see if the logo looks right on a hat and then i think I she's going to order a shirt print right. and make sure everything is printed right i mean it sure does that's just our own minds like <clears throat> we don't want somebody to buy something and it not be what it as expected you know or advertised whatever so make sure it's something good so yeah, if you guys are interested in anything you see, it's not available yet, uh, but when it is available, I will be happy to let you all know. That's pretty cool, but it's about chore time. Nick just went down to his friends. They're gonna go do something fun. Um, so I gotta do his chores today, which is fine. Just feed the goats, feed the dogs, make sure everybody has water, and we're gonna take the dogs a treat. Yes? Look at this young woman carrying this whole five gallon bucket full of <laughs> she water. She looks at you like young woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to see you're a little girl. <laughs> Good job, I'll be out in just a minute. Teenager. You're almost oh, a teenager. Oh, she thinks she's a teenager. She's not even close. Some days she already has the attitude of a teenager. That's for sure. Also, I have a question before I go outside and do chores. So the last two times that I've bought Elizabeth roses, don't don't mind them, they're dead now. She's had them for a few days. I haven't cleaned them up. They've only came in 11. Like, don't dozen roses come as 12 roses? I mean, correct this me if I'm wrong twice here. Now that this is twice though. Running. From Safeway. I feel like I'm being robbed. Let me know. Also, here's a tip for you guys out there buy your woman some flowers. Go cut her some flowers. Go pick her some flowers. Do that on occasion. It'll make her happy. Might even keep your marriage together longer. Who knows? Tips from Lonnie, that's something I've always done. Ever since we've gotten together, we've been together almost 20 years now. And it always makes her happy. Has it been 20 years? Yes. It always puts a no smile on her face. Do you like getting flowers? Yeah. Okay. Actually, but, he gets yelled at if he slaps. But, like if somebody says, like if your woman says, why don't you ever buy me flowers? That doesn't mean go out and buy them flowers the very next day. You gotta wait a little while and then go buy flowers. He learned because, that lesson the hard because, way. <laughs> because what it comes down to is, they think you're only buying them because they said something, which you probably are. But yeah, just words of advice. This is not a marriage counseling channel, but there you go. What do you guys think? You think they're ready to eat? These guys are always ready to eat. They're never not hungry. There's not a day that goes by that they're not at our feet. You could feed them. 20 minutes later, they're at your feet, ready to eat again. We give them treats a lot too, yep. though. So they yeah, just say, we, they see us and they're like, oh, food. <laughs> Free snacks. Be almost 40 degrees tomorrow, Manny. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tired of freezing. Mm -hmm. yeah.
Do you have a frozen one? Oh no! That's what happens when they get left. That must have got forgot this morning. Where'd you find it? I found it. Um, what do you call it? Behind the nesting boxes. You're missing out on dinner. You better get over there before it's gone. Dad just fed everybody. Hey, uh, full probably. Hey, will you help me carry this so I can carry that bucket of water up too? I suppose. Thank you. Are you carrying it up or am I carrying it up? I'll carry it up. I think I'll do full. Thank okay, you. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. We might want to start shutting that gate right there too, just that one side, because that's where the ducks keep going out in the road. Well, you think shutting on one side, they just won't go around it and go out in the road? <laughs> well, it might deter them from it. It won't. They'll be out there. Maybe. Hi, girls. Okay. Hello. Hi. We're bringing, we're bringing some hay for you. I kind of want to dump it in this spot. Okay, well, let I'll me go. Up. I can climb over. I can climb over. Okay. Water has soap in it too. Oh, yeah, we'll that. Okay. Check the food. The dog food's good? Yeah. Hello. Oh, jeez. Uh, maple is just a little this bit taller than fig. Freezing cold, this metal. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, come on. I to on my shoe. Oh. Thanks for carrying it. Here. Are oh, you gonna dump it? Will you dump the... Yeah, good. Oh, we have a problem. Houston. Oh yeah, frozen to the ground. Yeah, I can't get it out. Yep. Well, well shoot. Um, I might have to hop in there. How's everybody doing? Fresh water. Yeah, mouthful pearl. You're welcome. Are you ladies ready for your spa day? Yeah, you, we're gonna do that, but we gotta be able to get this dang gate open first. Yeah, it needs to defrost and be a little bit warmer, but every year before the goats have babies, we like to bring them out and give them a, a spa day. Clip their nails. They get their hooves up. trimmed and get their vitamins, and um, what else do we give them? I give them vitamin E. Selenium, and I give them a bolus. copper bolus. Yeah. So we brush them out really good, trim their hooves up, and get them ready for babies. And so we're not, typically we'd have babies like now, sometimes in March. Last year we did March. We, I am we were shooting so for April glad last we year. Waited. We were shooting for April last year, but we had a uh, cougar come up and grab one of our baby goats from literally just right up here. So we weren't able to do that. So we mixed them in a little early in our garden here, which turned into our winter goat house. <laughs> Anyways, we mixed them in early. So we ended up having March babies. But this year, since we had the dogs, didn't matter. We can keep the goats out as long as we wanted to. And uh, so we mixed them a little later and they're due the first which week of nice April. Which is nice because having goat babies right now, it is way too cold. Yeah, it's way too cold. Stop. So we like, to, we like to have them a little later because we don't like to use lights and heat lamps and all that because they're dangerous. Plus. It's cold. I mean, those babies come out wet and they freeze and it's just it's just too cold. So why not match more of what nature does, like what deer do? Yeah, we've so. had to take babies in the house and blow dry them and get them dried off because mom just couldn't get them clean quick enough because it's so cold out. Yeah, and then you sometimes you have moms that reject them. So like it's last just, year. It's okay. just easier and it's less stress on us through the night having a heat lamp in with goats. It's just less stressful. So if you're new to goats and you don't want the hassle of dealing with the heat lamps and the cold, make sure you breed them at the right time. And I think what's gestation on a goat? Four months and... 145 days, I think. 145 yeah, days? Yeah, for a Nigerian dwarf. Because pigs are what? Three months, three I weeks. Even, and I don't even remember. Three months, three were. weeks, and three days, I think, on pork. I'm not sure. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Ours were always randomly pregnant. Well, we it's because we didn't do a good job. We always of kept the them. male with the female, so we never yeah. knew. Now this is when we first started farming. We had them stationary. We had the, we had the male in with the female. Yeah, and, we only had a just, couple. Mm -mm, didn't turn out. Didn't turn out how we wanted it to. So next time we do pigs, we, we will have a couple more years of experience yeah. under our belts, and we will do something a little different. 
We're always the uh, let's jump in head first. Well, I am. He so is. I always bring I Beth always, with me. I'm I head always first. I try to talk him out <laughs> of it, and I'm the sensible one. And I'm, then he I'm jumps into it, and I'm like, I told I'm you. I'm head first. I'll figure it out as I go. And some things it's worked on, some things not so much. And a lot of times I get to say, I told you so. Yeah. But regardless, then we just make adjustments, and then we make it work. But I can take the credit for jumping us into it. Look at that. Look at that. It's brushed good. So tomorrow it's supposed to be like, 40. It was supposed to be 46, but now the weatherman says 40. Uh, but it's supposed to snow on Monday, so fun. Yay. What do you think, really? Is that good? My hay dogs. The hay dogs. Oh, I forgot your treat. I forgot your snack. I'm sorry. I'll have one of the kids bring it to you. So she keeps looking in your pocket. Yep. Look, <laughs> looking for a chicken patty. <laughs> hey, buddy, where's my chicken patty? Here, And they thought I had something because Maple just kept looking at Fig and just would raise her lip and growl at her and then look at me like, you better not be giving her a snack and not yeah. me. So I always thought Fig was the dominant one. She's not She's at not. all. It's Maple. This it's one. definitely Maple. She's the boss. This one's second. That's, and that's how lover. all animals do it. She's the love. There is a pecking order. Look, and, uh, I'm trying to pet her and yep, she's getting mad. She's getting jealous. Oh, I know, honey. You're pushing. Wait, I thought Fig she was just won't let you have nothing, huh? Huh? I thought Fig was the boss. Nope, it's Maple. No, I was wrong. Maple's her. definitely the boss. Yeah. <coughs> she probably won whatever fight they got into. Yeah. All right, it's cold. I'm going inside. 